Clash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's 7.47 a.m. Good morning, Stella. Stella's been sleeping in this little box house with mini Boo. Good morning, Boo. What you doing, Boo? You rolling around, want some pets? What do you got, some cardboard on you? Boo slept on the chair in the living room all night so he could keep an eye on Stella. Right, Boo? Hello, Stella. You want some pets, too? Everyone wants some pets.
it is morning mail time so let's continue with our package from Maria I'm just gonna reach in and grab whatever I can we have look at all of this milk chocolate this is Milka Max Alpine milk chocolate thank you so much this looks so yummy and look at this one this is Milka Max Oreo it looks like it's the milk chocolate with an Oreo center. I've never seen this before. Thank you. And look at this one. It is Milka Max Choco and Biscuit Choco and Kex. That looks good too. And here we have a Milka Crunchy Break. And this says Crunchies also for Lucky. Oh, this is really cool. It looks like, like a Crunchy Bar. Crunchy Choco Break. It looks like maybe like a cookie bar with uh, like a chocolate center inside. That's really interesting. I've never seen this before. Thank you. Stella's watching. And what is this? Look at this. Careful. What do we have, Stella? It's a cat it groomer. Is it a cat it groomer? Yeah, look. Look, Stella, look. You guys got a self-groomer. A self-groomer to put on the wall. This is great because I was just noticing the other day how there are walls in this house that are starting to get, like, worn away because all of the cats like to rub up against them. And, like, they've, they're rubbing off the paint. And, um, yeah, so... I think I'm gonna put this in a strategic location that will actually end up help protecting my walls. Thank you. And there's a note inside it says, here's a second cat groomer. Thank you so much. It's like a grab bag. And then here we have a travel plug. This is a plug for the cat bed. Oh, okay. So last year, uh, Maria sent a large heated cat bed for the inside cats because Splash likes to crawl in bed with Stella and there's never enough room but with the larger bed there is and the larger bed has been downstairs and it does plug in because it does have a heated mat um, so this is the adapter for it so it'll actually plug into a US outlet so thank you that's very thoughtful let's go with this can I even get this out? Oh. Wow. Look at this. Look, it's a mat. It's a floor mat. And look at all of the cats on this floor mat. It is so cute. I've never seen one like this. This will be great downstairs. Boo's checking it out. Let's take a look at what else jumped out of the box uh, at the same time. So here we have... Here we have a package of Sheba, fresh and fine in sauce. This is great. Ditto loves this stuff. And we have another box of After Eight Milk Chocolate Thins. Here's a bag of Zoo Royal Knusper, Knusper Kissen Mitt Locks. I think these are more salmon treats. Thank you. And here we have a Sheba selection in sauce. And here is a Sheba Finesse Mousse Mitt Locks, uh, all salmon. So Hydrox really likes these mousses and pâtés, so he's going to enjoy this. And it looks like these are four vials of catnip. For dinner today, the cats are trying this grain-free tiki cat tuna and crab surimi consomme. This is a 2.8 ounce can. I have two of these cans. And that's what I am going to be mixing up for them. Uh, the ingredients are tuna, tuna broth, crab surimi, which is ocean white fish and crab broth, sunflower seed oil, calcium lactate, tricalcium phosphate. We go into all kinds of vitamins and minerals. So that's pretty much it. Tuna, tuna broth, and then ocean white fish and crab broth, and then oil and vitamins and minerals. So we'll see how the cats like this. This is what it looks like after I take it out of the can. 
this is one can. I'm going to add the other can, and I'm also going to be adding some water to it. It looks a bit dry. Boo, are you ready to eat? This is what it looks like after I've added just a little bit of water to it. Who's fighting? Who is fighting? I know you guys are excited, but you got to calm down a little bit because we don't fight. Got it? We're all nice to each other. Who wants to eat? Who wants tuna? You want tuna? Boo, would you like some tuna? Stella, you want tuna? Kiss Boo. Boo, kiss Stella if you want some tuna. Kiss her. Kiss him. Stella, kiss Boo. Kiss Boo and I'll give you tuna. All right, I'll give you tuna anyway. They're all eating it, even Splash. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Boo. Boo lunged at a bird this morning. All of a sudden I heard a crash and I was like, what? Then I checked the security camera and sure enough, Boo lunged at a bird. Boo, you like the bird feeder? Do you like it? So I think I am going to give up on having a rug in this hallway because every single day it's a total mess. Like every single day. So I'm just going to like roll it up for now and not have a rug here and see what happens. It is 11.28 a.m. And it is 71 degrees out. It is so nice. It's like warm. I don't remember the last time it was over 70 degrees in January, which is great. And I am going to be taking down a lot of these Christmas decorations. The Santa's coming down and um, the gingerbread man and the flat gnome and the candy canes and the Christmas flowers and the Christmas lights and the wreath. Um, I'm leaving the snowman up uh, with the uh, thermometer on it and the snow gauge maybe it'll be good luck this year maybe we won't get any snow oh my god that would be so awesome if we made it all the way to april or may without any snow that would be great so that's what i am going to do it's 12 22 p.m look at boo he's resting on his day sofa boo you look so comfortable He's comfortable. Right, Boo? You're comfortable? I'm such a pretty boy, Boo. He likes laying in the sun. It's nice and sunny here right now. It's a bit overcast outside. But once the clouds move, he'll be back in the sun. Right, Boo?
very windy out right now too. Boo keeps inching closer because he wants pets. You want pets, Bill. Okay, Boo, I gotta go back outside and finish what I was doing. It's 1.15 p.m. Look what's going on here. Stella, Splash, and Simba are all laying on the bed next to my bag. Splash, what are you doing? I moved my bag and he hissed at me. What you doing, Splash? Simba says, let me go back to sleep. I'm still tired. Hello, Splash. The cats are having homemade raw food for dinner today with water mixed in and a few crunchies sprinkled on top. And Hydrox, I gave him homemade raw food. I don't know if he ate it. Like, I gave it to him around noon and it was still on the patio. But I recently saw that it was gone. I don't know if he ate it or Ditto ate it because Ditto did come by for dinner. He ate dry food out of the feeder. There was also a full can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets outside. And Hydrox could eat it if he wants to. Um, it's there. And, but he's hanging out by the back door. It was a beautiful day today. It got to be around 70 degrees. So I got a lot done today. I took all of the Christmas decorations off of Hydrox's shelter. I'm debating whether I want to put Valentine's Day decorations up or not. Because now it just looks really empty without any decorations. So... I might go look and uh, see what they have at uh, like Dollar Tree and Joann's, which is where I got the decorations for Christmas. And um, yeah, I also got some other work done in the yard. And that was, that's the air fryer. I wanted to make some air fried uh, french fries for dinner. It's about 9.30 p.m. right now. I just got home and look who's here. Ditto came by to visit and there's Hydrox. Hydrox is meowing at me. So somebody ate all the food that was here because that bowl was totally full. Hey, you better behave. You better behave. You hear me? You better behave. You got it. You gonna behave. You gonna behave. Are you? So this is Hydrox's shelter right now and it looks really bare and dark now that all of the Christmas decorations have been taken down. Like I'm really used to it with the Christmas lights and the wreath and everything. And I bought a few decorations today. I was in the Dollar Tree and I was in Joann's and um, Big Lots. And I might test a few things tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I gave them a can of the Trader Joe's turkey and giblets with water mixed in and I put half of a can in each of these bowls and Hydrox is eating it and I would never know it's January right now like it almost feels like a summer evening which is crazy um yeah I would think it's like spring or fall and a lot of people are out tonight like out in their yard and outside and enjoying the weather so that just adds to it and ditto's eating some of the dry food out of the feeder i would be so incredibly happy if we had this weather every single day this winter like from now until april if we had this weather oh my gosh i would be so happy let me tell you what's going on out here so 
I was inside, I had the door shut and everything, and I was like, all right, the cats outside are done, that's it. And then I was gonna make something to eat and then relax. And all of a sudden I hear Hydrox meowing again. I'm like, what is going on? So I open the back door. He's sitting on the back step, like where I am right now. And he's meowing. I'm like, what do you want, Hydrox? So I came out with some more food and it ends up that Hydrox does not want the food. It ends up that Ditto wants the food. So Hydrox was yelling at me to bring more food out for Ditto. This is how Hydrox is. He's looking out for the other cats. He's like, hey, Ditto's still hungry. Bring him out some more food. So I just gave him, I think this is one of the Shebas that Maria sent. I'm not sure which kind it is because it's in German, but Ditto is enjoying it. And there's still a half a can of the turkey and giblets in the other bowl that Hydrox has not eaten. It's there. He could easily eat it or Ditto can eat it, but um, How you doing, Hydrox? How you doing? Boo's watching. Boo likes to see what goes on out here. And I'm standing here, like I don't even have a jacket on. I have like a long sleeve t-shirt and that's like it. It is so nice out. Stella's watching her new bug video with the centipedes. Stella, what'd you do? Oh my gosh, she's changing the channel. Oh, she's still trying to get the video. Where did it go, Stella? Where's the centipede video? It's over here. Let's make it a big screen. Okay, there you go. There you go, Stella. They usually watch on the Fire tablet, but that one's charging. So I'm letting her watch on my iPad. Maybe the iPad's more sensitive. There's it. That's the tablet charging up. Oh, there she goes again. I guess the iPad is more sensitive. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.